It's good to see our pachyderm pals so happy. But I still want the elephant to show you who's the most powerful. You mean the rhino to show you. Hey, why don't we show each other ourselves? Huh? A big creature power suit challenge of all sorts of animal abilities. To find out what the most powerful animals in Africa are. The strongest pushers, the highest jumpers, the fastest runners, the most skillful swimmers. Oh yeah, caracal jump and hang time, baby. Yes, remember when we got aardvark? But cheetah powers rip. Oh yeah, hyperspeed. Yeah, uh, Aviva, oh, yeah. this could get interesting. Yeah. yeah. It really makes me appreciate how many amazing animals we've encountered. And how many awesome creature power discs you've made. Hmm. Ugh. It makes me tired just thinking about it. I'm taking the day off. No inventing today. I'm spectating. The bros are on their own. I don't get too comfy, Aviva. I'm not a professional scientist, but I think I observed when it comes to high tech. The bros usually end up needing your help. Let's start with a strength contest between the elephant and the rhino. You're on! Rhino power! Squirrel power! Huh? Oh, wrong one. Elephant power! Activate creature power suit! <laughs> Rhino powers. Elephant powers are so awesome. I can do push-ups with my nose. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Save it, brother. It's a sumo-style showdown of strength. Whoever pushes the other guy into the mud wallow wins. All right, bro, the moment of truth. Let's find out who's the strongest. Rhino power. Elephant power. <laughs> My disruptor bots will make their creature power suits go haywire. Won't Chris and Martin be surprised? An elephant is so strong, he can push a 15 meter tall acacia tree over with his head. Oh! Rhinos have charge strength powerful enough to push over a four ton truck. <laughs> oh. Hey, Chris, you look thirsty. Oh, yeah. How about a drink? <laughs> and elephant powers win! <laughs> Woo! Not so fast, bro! <gasps> ah, you forgot about the rhino horn. Huh? Ah. Aviva, we found Thornsley's mom. She's stuck in a mud wallow, and the rest of the herd can't get her out. We need elephant creature power suits, fast! I'm almost done with your discs. Two minutes and you'll have it. Look, Martin, even Thornsley's trying to save her. Uh-oh, he could get stuck in the mud too. Thornsley, wait! Oh no, he's stuck too. To, to the, the Thornsley, Thornsley rescue! rescue! Hey, you look pretty cool as a mud man. You too, bro. <laughs> Aviva, we need the elephant discs. I've never worked so fast, but they're ready to go. Jimmy is teleporting them now. It's okay, little guy. You'll be back with your mom in a flash. Ah, like I said, in a flash. Stick around, buddy. We'll need you to activate our suits. Okay, you grab her trunk with your trunk and pull. I'll do the pushing, Martin. Not bad for a fake elephant. Pull, Martin, pull! Oh, it's working, Chris! We're moving her! Yes, I knew we could do it! Oh. 
Oh no, this stuff is thick. She's stuck again. Guys, we're around the corner. We can help push her out. We're gonna need all the help we can get. Hurry! Don't worry, Thornton's mom. We're gonna get you out. Wait, stop, buddy. We don't want you to get stuck in the mud again. <laughs> Jimmy, keep an eye on him. I'm on it. Oh! Ugh. Thanks, Thornsley. I wanted a mud mask today. Okay, guys, you're hooked up. Go, Aviva! Ow! Ow! She's stepping on my foot! Ah, oh, it's working! Woohoo! Ah. Yeah! You did it! Thornsley and his mom are back together. <laughs> Way to go, elephant bros! Now that sounds like one happy herd of elephants. <laughs> uh, did we just set off the rhino alarm? Yep, we set it off. Whoa! <laughs> did you see that? See it? I felt it. Ouch. No, I mean the ox peckers hung on even when the rhino charges. Now that's the coolest thing. I win. Okay, you got me. But what I don't get is who would want to mess with the third heaviest land mammal on the planet and take on that charge? So that's who the rhino was going for. We were just in the way. They're after the calf. <laughs> Amazing! That's a 1300 kilogram mega mammal with some fancy footwork. I've heard of tossed salad, but tossed lions? Incoming! Ooh! That horn is a serious weapon. Rhino defense is awesome! Uh huh? Oh no! I just tuned it up! I like it. Gives her character. You know, that made no sense. Black rhinos are solitary. They'd never stampede in a huge herd. It's unnatural. Hey, are you okay? Oh, look at that little nub of a horn you got. I'm gonna call you Nubs. Oh, but there's no way your mom would leave you behind, little buddy. Or not come charging towards a lost call. Something's very wrong here. Poachers? I don't know, but we're gonna find out. Let's track them. Uh-oh, don't look now, Chris, but someone's tracking us. They know there's no mom to protect them. We've gotta get Nubs out of here fast. I think I'll stick around. Something about that rhino stampede just didn't seem right. Pack out your nubs! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Kritera, don't fail us now! Later, lions! Dude, what are you doing up there? Getting a bird's eye view. I'll take nubs to safety and be right back. Don't get distracted and forget about me. Oh, don't worry. I won't leave you hanging. When is one of them gonna wake up? Look! The Prince of Beasts has arisen! He's so cute, but a little nuts. He's not thinking of waking the boss lion up, is he? That's his dad. Still, the cub would fit in his mouth. Oh, lion dads are real protective of their cubs. But nobody likes to be woken up. <laughs> See, I told you, a lion dad takes good care of his cubs. Whoa, that's gotta be nature's biggest hairdo. 
Yeah, it's a magnificent mane. But there are a few animals who have even longer hair on their head. Muskox and Yak are tied for third longest. Horses are second. The longest horse mane was measured at five meters long. You know who, of all animals, has the longest hair on their head? Hmm. You do! Uh. When a human lets her hair keep growing, a human has the longest hair on their head in the creature world. The longest hair on any human was 16 meters long. <gasps> he who breathes fire. That's what we've got to call him. He who breathes fire. In the local Swahili language, that translates to Ane Pumua Moto. Ane Pumua Moto. He who breathes fire. Nobody is going to mess with the pride with he who breathes fire as the guardian. He must be 180 kilograms and as big as a lion gets. Yeah, Ane Pumua Moto looks to be five years old and in his prime. And that's his job to guard the lionesses anywhere from two to 20, plus his cubs, from danger. Of the 36 species of wildcat, lions are the only ones that live in a big social group, a big old family. Uh, then where's he going? Hmm? <gasps> All right, yeah! Woohoo! He's going on patrol! Every few nights or so, he'll patrol the pride's territory to make sure there is no intruder, like other lions around. He doesn't wait for trouble to come. He goes out to stop it. Yeah, but what if trouble finds the pride while he's gone? Well, the lioness are tough. But if trouble shows up that they really need help with, like a really big clan of hyenas or other male lions, the lioness will call for the lion, and he'll come charging back. Saving the pride with the lion powers. A mixed herd of herbivores. This is great. Yeah, all these different looking creatures eat grass and leaves. But do they all eat exactly the same plants or what? We need to get in the middle of the action to find out. I'll stick with necktie. Oof. Maze. Hey, buddy. <laughs> and I'll go zebra. Figure out how to balance this neck. Mm. Mm. The gazelles are nibbling on the delicate tender grasses. They're not eating the thicker, tougher stuff. Ah, but the zebras are. They eat big mouthfuls of the thick, tough, hard to digest grass. It all looks like a bunch of grass, but the herbivores are naturally splitting things up. It's nature's know-how at work again. And if the grass eaters are doing it, maybe the leaf eaters like the giraffe are doing it too. Martin, we've got a breakthrough here. Yeah, me too. Look, I got this long neck balancing thing down. Uh, oh, almost. Oh, thanks, Chris. Woo! Everything looks different from way up here. Everything's so small. <gasps> like those cute little kittens over there. <gasps> Where? <gasps> Where? Right there, behind those. <gasps> uh, wait a second. Those aren't kittens there. Lions! Run! Whoa! Add another benefit of a long neck to the list. A giraffe's eye view for spotting danger far away. Necktie! Oh no! A classic lion ambush. Have one lion hide up ahead while two others push the prey straight towards him. They do that on purpose. Whoa! A hoof kick! That's a dinner plate sized hoof right in the face. Yeah, with enough power to kill a lion. Oh, they've had enough. They're out of here. 
Whoa! Okay, okay, that's enough herbivore action for now. Deactivate, dude. Uh, Martin, you think you're tough, huh? Think you're really ferocious. Well, the lion does. Brother, it's not you, it's a honey badger. The honey badger is tough. So tough, a lion will think twice about tangling with him. Wow. That puts the honey badger right up there with the African honeybee on the tough meter Tie for now. And the honey badger has a fierce sweet tooth too. He's still following the honey guide. Honey badger and honey guide. Now that is a dynamic duo. Let's program some creature power suits. I'm with you, honey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who wants honey guide powers and who wants honey badger? Ooh, oh, honey, honey, badger, badger, honey badger! Honey badger! Honey badger over here! Did you have to ask? Hey, it's my turn for the more powerful creature. Chris, I had caterpillar powers last time. Well, a butterfly isn't exactly powerful. I should have the badger powers because that lion's mad at me for bumping him. I gotta watch my back. Yeah, but if I had badger powers, I could watch your back. Uh, guys. You're not gonna have any powers. Because the animals you have to touch to get the powers are getting away! <gasps> mm -hmm. uh -huh. What? He is following <gasps> Wildcrats! And honey! The little bird did it! Let us right to the honey! And now it's the honey badger's turn to do his thing. Oh, nobody can be that tough. Ooh, he's gonna get so stung. Ow, I feel your pain. No animal can survive that many bee stings. He's gonna run. I didn't see that coming. Whoa! Oh. Of course. Honey badgers are members of the weasel family. And they shoot a stinky spray from beneath their tails. Just like his cousin the skunk. Except the honey badger also uses his stinky spray like a living can of bee repellent. <laughs> can his smell be ferocious? <laughs> Don't know. <laughs> but if it can, <laughs> this one is. Oh. He'll actually attack a swarm of stinging bees and stand up to a lion. The honey badger is the toughest animal in Africa. That's Blur, our cheetah buddy from the last time we were in Africa, when Aviva raced her cheetah racer against the Zacterain. Aw, cute. I don't believe it. When did Blur have a cub? Uh, from the looks of him, I'd say about seven weeks ago. Because he still has that black and white coloring on top. Oh, I've got to come up with a special name for him. Aww. Uh -huh. uh, what does she see out there? Hmm. I don't know. But her black eye stripes are absorbing the sun's glare so she can see when it's bright. Oh, wait, I've got just the thing. Oh. Here it is. My black baseball grease. When I spread it onto my eyes in the cheetah's eye stripes, it gives me the cheetah power to look out onto the bright savanna and see... <gasps> a lion! Lions are always trying to take out cheetahs. Lions see the cheetah as competition, and they'll kill a cheetah or even a cheetah cub any chance they get. That chirp means hide! A special chirp for each command. Now Blur is going out to distract the lion. She's trying to lead the lion away from little... Oh, what am I gonna call him? Now that is one clever way to avoid predators. Cheetah style. Oh, 
Whoa, I spot speed. A light, lean running machine. Ooh, here's my chance to update and improve my cheetah racer. Bring up the cheetah racer. Mm hmm. hmm. Blur lures away lions with her cheetah speed to keep her cubs safe because little cubs can't run fast yet. Check out the racing stripe. Black fur on his back with a white stripe down the middle. I wonder why a cheetah cub has that and his mom doesn't. Hey, where is his mom? I'll use my cheetah vision to find her. <gasps> there she is. Here we go, a cheetah hunt. She has to catch a gazelle to feed her cub. the fastest land animal on the planet at 70 miles per hour. 